Hello and welcome everyone. This is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and today I'm going to show you how to create comic style line art for your Daz Studio renders using FilterForge. Stay tuned. <laughs> So of all the questions that I get asked, this is probably the most popular one. Now, what I will say is that creating the comic style look that I use for my graphic novels is a two-step process. I use Photoshop and then I also use FilterForge. Today I'm going to show you the FilterForge part. And I use FilterForge mainly to get the, the line art. So I'm just going to show you that here. Right now, here is a, a render from Daz Studio. It's the main character, Yarrow, from my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. Uh, here he is looking very heroic. And what I'm going to do is create line art from this. Now, Filter Forge is a standalone application, but in this example, I'm just going to use it as the plugin version. Here's what I like to do. So first, I duplicate my layer. Just so I have an original copy. And I'm going to apply the filter to this uh, layer zero copy that you see here. So first, I go up to Filter. From my list, I find Filter Forge. I'm using version 6. And I'm going to open Filter Forge. Uh, checks over for updates. Usually I say OK, but for this instance, I'm just going to cancel. Now, the filter that you will need is this comic book filter here. And what I use is this preset here, this black and white one. I have a custom one that I've created here, but I'm just going to use this for now. So I double click that. And then you get this kind of line art style um, rendering of the image. But, you know, I'm not satisfied with all the lines that you see in his face here. So I'm just going to go to the to settings in Filter Forge and adjust that some more. So settings you'll find right here. I'm just going to click on that tab. And what I want is uh, black ink, I think. So... Uh, ink gain K is at 32 and smooth K is at 31. And I usually set this, this is not an exact science. I usually set this to around 10, 15 and 10. And then I see what things look like. Whoops. Uh, let's zoom out. Uh, looks okay, but let's try some other values. 20 so I can see a bit more of the definition in his face. What if I change this to 7? Let's see. Uh, I think a higher number here is better. 10, let's try 15. Okay, that's looking okay. Just out of curiosity, what if I make this 25? That's a bit too much. So I'll bring that back down. Let's try 22. So as you can see, I'm just experimenting with the numbers and playing around to see what I like. It's all a matter of personal preference. I don't use the same numbers every time. It really depends on the image. Let's zoom in on his face again and see. So I'm okay with this. You'll notice that there's these gray lines here. And once I've finished the render, well, finished applying the filter, I mean, uh, then I'm going to go over these gray lines and just paint them in with a, a white uh, paintbrush. But first, let's 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 apply the, the filter. So I'm going to hit Apply down here. And then I'm going to let Filter Forge do its thing. And depending on the size of the image, this could take a while. Whoops. There we go. There's my progress bar. So we're just going to leave that uh, to do its thing. Okay, there we go. So Filter Forge is finished doing its thing. And this looks okay. Remember, I'm just using this for the, the line art. So now I'll show you what I do next. First, I'll zoom in on his face because I want to paint over these lines. So I'm just going to select my brush tool in Photoshop and select a round brush. Okay, too big. Okay, that's good. Whoops. Let's undo that and hit the letter X to make sure that my foreground color is white. And then I'm just going to start to, to paint with my mouse.
I'll speed up this part of the video so you don't have to watch this whole thing. Okay, so that looks like it's all done. Next, what I'm going to do is just erase the, the white from the background because unfortunately it adds that to the final image. So I'm just going to hide this first one. Let me just rename this to filter. Actually, I'll rename it to line art. That makes more sense. So line art, and this is the original. So I'll turn off the line art layer have the original. I'm going to select my magic wand tool, magic wand tool, which is W, and I'm just selecting all the blank space. Holding down shift to get the space between the legs there and in the, in the hands. Uh, let me zoom in a bit more. Cool. Now that I have all that selected, I'm going to turn on my line art layer, select my line art layer, and then hit uh, delete. And that gets rid of the background. Then on the line art layer, I'm going to change the blend mode. Usually I change it to multiply. And that's actually looking fairly decent to me. Sometimes I, I change the uh, the opacity of it, you know, depending on what I want. And just so you can see the difference, here's with the line art, there's without the line art. So it just gives it a bit more definition. It makes it look more like it was hand-drawn, I guess. You know, I, I'm trying to reach a balance between a hand-drawn look and a photorealistic look. And now, again, this isn't the only thing that I do. I just use Filter Forge to create the line art. And then I do some other steps in Photoshop to make it look more like an illustration rather than a, rather than a, a photograph. But I'll show you that uh, in the next video. So I hope that helps. Just so you know, I've included a link to the filter that I've used as well as an affiliate link to FilterForge in the video description below. If you think that FilterForge is software that can help you in your own artistic endeavors, I'd ask that when you decide to purchase it, that you please use the affiliate link in the video description below. When you click that link and make a purchase, I get a commission that goes towards the production of more videos so I can keep uh, giving you the information that I know. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Be sure to share this video with all your friends. Check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.